and I'm sure many people were thrown off yesterday having to set their clocks back. I actually enjoyed the extra sleep. But why are people doing this? What is the history? EMC News 3's Nathan Isbell went to Middle Tennessee State University to ask students just that. Well, springing forward, falling back, just what does it all mean and where did the idea even come from? Well, some students at MTSU have their own ideas. It's that time of year again where the leaves are changing, the air is cooler, the days are shorter, and the time has come to change the clocks for the season. But why do we do this? Contrary to popular belief, the reason is not just about losing or gaining that much needed hour of sleep. Several MTSU students had their own ideas as to why changing the clocks are so important. As the summer season progresses into the fall and winter seasons, there's less sunlight, so we change times. So workers and farmers and et cetera have more sunlight to work with as opposed to not having it if time stay the same. Uh, we fall back in the fall to, uh, actually I really don't know why. I know we do it in the spring to give us more daylight for the summer, um, longer farming hours. So where did the idea of changing the clocks come from? The origins of daylight savings time uh, come from ancient Romans who used to alter their clock settings based upon their latitude and the length of their days and so forth. Benjamin Franklin later picked up on this idea and advocated a similar method. That idea was signed into U.S. law in 1918. It seems there are just too many reasons to count as to why we change the clocks, but evidence is proving that the benefits greatly outweigh the minor inconveniences. Some of the benefits include energy conservation, fewer traffic accidents, and even some health benefits, just to name a few. Well, I was caught off guard by the time change as well, but a good reminder for everyone is that we always change our clocks on the second Sunday in March and the first Sunday in November. For News 3, I'm Nathan Isbell. Thanks, Nathan. Now, if you want a more detailed explanation of the history and benefits of daylight savings time, you can head over to emcnews3.com and click on the time change story.